Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be introducing you to Chic Luxury Soap's Premium Cinnamon Spice Foot Scrub. And I'm going to be giving you some foot care tips because we're well into sandal season and we need to be taking care of our feet if we're going to be showing them off all the time. Feet. Used, abused, and quite often forgotten about when we are taking care of ourselves and pampering. We don't like to admit it, but we forget about them because they're at the bottom of our bodies. But it is important to take care of them. So here are my seven tips just to help you remember it doesn't take much, but you need to take care of them. Tip number one is don't wear socks and shoes all the time. You have to let your feet breathe. Some people have feet phobias and they like to wear socks all the time, but you can get foot funguses. But also make sure you're not not wearing socks. You do have to cover up your feet or at least moisturize often. Tip number two really is going out towards the ladies. If some of you fellas fall under this category. Take this tip as well then. Don't wear nail polish all the time. This might sound weird, but you do have to let your toenails breathe. And nail polish is going to prevent oxygen from reaching your nails. Tip number three. This is a public service announcement. Standing in the shower in soapy water does not washing your feet. I need you to bend over or at least pick up your foot and wash it. Use a loofah, a soap cozy, a washcloth, I don't care, wash your feet. Tip number four is wash your feet before you go to sleep every night, or at least change your sheets every morning if you're wearing sandals or strappy shoes more often than closed shoes. Do you know how much bacteria your feet are picking up throughout the day? Gross. You don't want to be laying in that all night, day after day after day after day. Gross, gross, gross. Tip number five is don't be afraid to learn and use actual beauty tools. There are more foot care tools than just nail clippers, such as a foot pumice, a cuticle cutter, and just nail files and nail buffers and so many things. Learn what some of them are and learn how to utilize them properly. They are your friends. Really use them. Tip number six is learn how to do a foot massage. And I don't usually like other people touching my feet. It is really nice to get a foot massage. So I don't expect a lot of other people to either. So I'm gonna suggest to you to go to sheetcosmetics.club and check out my blog post that has a video that tells you how to give yourself a foot massage. It doesn't take very long and it's really simple. And in the video, it's gonna tell you all about the reflexology and different points in your foot that are gonna help different parts of your body, such as your heart, your spine, your spleen, your liver, and your eyes, and reproductive, and just all this good stuff. Tip number seven, last, but certainly not the least, is learn and do a foot scrub. Not only is it basically a foot massage while you're doing it, but it's gonna help make your skin smell nicer, remove your dead skin cells, and if you get something great like Chic with natural ingredients, you're gonna be getting so many more benefits that are gonna help not only your feet, but you're not gonna be putting in any extra chemicals or toxins into your body. So generally, I really like using citrus or fruity things when I'm trying to rejuvenate or wake up or just make something feel brand new again. But when I saw this cinnamon foot scrub, I wanted to try it. Natural is always better for you. And this natural cinnamon is so soothing and so nice. And the whole scrub is really creamy and luxurious. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like on my hand because I don't think I can hold my foot up here and keep my balance while I'm talking to you for a very long time. Okay, so to do a foot scrub, the first thing you need to do is find a place to do your scrub. You can do it in your sink, in a little tub or basin, or into your bathtub. I like to do it in my bathtub. Fill up your bathtub with lukewarm water and put an additive in it. I like to use Epsom salts. You can use oatmeal or milk or honey. There are so many different things. You can go on Pinterest and find a Listerine foot scrub if you want it, and it works. Step number two is soak your feet for 10 to 15 minutes. 
Go ahead and pamper yourself just a little bit more. Put on a face mask, read a book, listen to some music. You're sitting there anyways, relax. Once you're done that, you're gonna open up your foot scrub, get your scooper and scoop some out. Now I generally like to use squeeze bottles because it's a lot more hygienic to squeeze and scrape off your scrub versus dipping in your fingers in here. You're gonna be inserting a lot of bacteria. So I'm usually not drawn towards anything inside of a tub, but I've since learned to use some sort of scoop. I'm gonna go ahead, scoop and rub on in a circular motion. Go ahead and rub your whole foot, and I mean your whole foot from your toes to your ankles to the top of your foot, right up your calf. Go ahead, don't be afraid. You're not gonna tickle yourself till you pee your pants. I trust you not to do that unless you're into that. No judgment. And rinse off. This scrub is really gentle and it'll help exfoliate and take off all the dead skin cells on your feet. You can go one step further and use a pumice like I like to do and that'll really help rejuvenate your skin. The last step of any pampering you want to do is make sure you're lotioning and re-moisturizing your feet after you're done this scrub. Sheik's Premium Cinnamon Spice Foot Scrub smells so nice. If you have smelly feet, this is going to help mask it. The scrub is really gentle. I feel like I can use this on my hand, not just on your feet. I mean, it's marketed towards your feet, but it feels really nice on my hand, and I would definitely use this on another part of my body. I've used this on my feet several times. I don't recommend applying it in the shower. It's a little bit slippery and really, really dangerous. I got several bruises on my legs this week from slipping and falling. Definitely a chic premium product. Don't forget to go to chicsoaps.com to order your own premium cinnamon spice foot scrub. Like Chic Soaps on Facebook and join the Chic group and go to chiccosmetics.club for more information about this scrub and to check out that self foot massage video. You really need to go check it out and I'll see you guys next video.